Okay. This is chapter 6-4. This is number 1 on page 218. That's your homework for Monday, but it's due on Monday. Okay, here's how you do number one. Okay, and number one, your gross earnings. Okay, if we read the directions, it asks us to find Social Security. Okay, and number one, so we have to take our gross earnings. If you look at your foldable that we just made, you have to take your gross earnings and multiply it by your rate, which is 6.2%. If you want to, you can put this example beside your definition in your foldable. That way you have an example. Mm -hmm. So I take my 324.72 and multiply it by 6.2%, and that gives me $20.13 that I have to send to the Social Security office. Now we have to calculate Medicare. If you want to write this in your tab, in your foldable under Medicare, so you have an example of a Medicare, you take your gross earnings, which are 324.72, and multiply it by 1.45%. And $4.71 is going to Medicare. And in the book, it doesn't ask you to calculate state disability for number one, but I'm going to do an example. So if you want to put it in your foldable, you can. If we were to calculate state disability and we'd assume a 1% state disability rate, we would just take our gross earnings, 324, 72, and multiply it by 1%, which means we just move the decimal place twice. So it's 3.2472, which rounds to 325. So that would be what goes to state disability. Number 10 in your homework says, find the social security tax for each of the following managers for the current pay period. Assume a 6.2% FICA rate up to a maximum of 110000 That means they only get taxed on the first $110,000 that they make. So let's look at uh, number 10, R. Hale. It says gross earnings this year so far. So far, Hale has made $107,950.10. And his current paycheck is $3,200. So I want to know how much FICA tax are they going to take out? Well, he's already made $107,950.10. And you can only tax up to 110000 So what's the difference between those two? I have to subtract and find out. Because I can't, I mean, you can't charge him tax on the full $3,200 or you've wrongfully taxed him. Do you understand? What's the, um, so Hale only has to pay taxes on $2,049.90 of his paycheck. He doesn't have to pay it on the full $3,200. Let's look down at number 12 in your book. Look at number 12. Jay Mowerin has made $112,040.18. And his current paycheck is $2,487.52. Does he have to pay anything to Social Security? No, he's done. He's already made 112000 So the answer to number 12 is what? What's his, what's his FICA tax? Zero. The answer to number 12 is zero. He doesn't have to pay any tax. And number 15, we're doing the same thing, but we first have to calculate... Earnings. It says find regular earnings, overtime earnings, gross earnings, and Social Security tax, Medicare tax, and state disability insurance deduction for each of the following employees. 
and assume, assume that no employee will have earned more than the FICA or SDI max at the end of the current pay period. Assume time and a half is paid for any overtime in a 40-hour week. So if I look at P. Thunstrom, he's worked 45.5 hours and he makes $9.22 an hour. First thing I need to do is calculate his regular earnings. How do I do that? We just have a test over that. 40 hours times $9.22. 40, 40 hours times $9.22. So his regular earnings are $368.80. But he worked five and a half hours overtime. How do I calculate how much money he gets for his overtime? Overtime rate times 1.5. Times the number of hours he worked. Very good. So he worked five and a half hours overtime, but I could take nine dollars and twenty-two cents and multiply it by one point five to get thirteen dollars and eighty-three cents. That's his overtime rate. And so his overtime earnings are seventy-six dollars and seven cents. How do I calculate his gross earnings? Add them together. Add them together. That's what he's doing there. The, no, we're adding the 368.80 and the 76.07 to get, because this is how much regular money he gets and this is how much overtime money he gets. So if we add them together, that's the total money he gets. Or she. That's the gross, that's the gross earnings. We want to take out Social Security, Medicare, and SDI, State Disability. How do I find that? Gross earnings times 6.2% and I get $27.58. To calculate Medicare, you take your gross earnings and you multiply it by 1.45%, which gives you $6.45. So how much did you take out the state disability insurance rate that they give you in the book is 1%. So to calculate state disability insurance, I just take my gross earnings and multiply it by 1%. And I get $4.45. On page 220, there's something very important that you need to notice. The title says self-employment deductions. If you are a self-employed person, you have to pay a much higher rate of Social Security and Medicare. You actually have to pay double. Okay? So, I want you to look, we're going to go ahead and look at the rates. This is from that, that same sheet of paper, that Social Security Administration fact sheet. Look at the difference. An employee, if you work for someone, pays 7.65%. A self-employed person pays 15.3%. So you need to understand something. If you are ever hired as an independent contractor, so if you're in a salon as an independent contractor, if you're hired as an electrician as an independent contractor or a plumber or whatever you might do as an independent contractor, you are self-employed. The reason you get paid more is because more comes out. Do you see that? When you count, you have to calculate it on your own or you need to get an accountant. You need to calculate 15.3% instead of 7.65. Does that make sense? That's what you mail to Social Security. If you don't do that, when end of year tax time comes, you're going to owe thousands and thousands of dollars. Do you understand? So when you do numbers 27 through 34, you have to use the rates they give you in the examples because those are for self-employed people. That's why it's so hard to be self-employed in the United States because rates are a lot higher. Why is it more dangerous to self-employed? We'll talk about why later. That's it. That's it. Homework is one through thirty-four by Monday.